Hello everyone, uh, this is Edgar Huang, a veteran college counselor. So today's topic is writing evidence-based college application essays. Let's get started. Uh, here is a misconception a lot of students have. Okay, I ask them, hey, why do you want to write this essay, especially the Common App essay? And then the, the typical answer is, oh, I want to show to the admission officers who I am. And then I tell them, if you apply to a top college, such as Harvard, Stanford, uh, they have uh, very limited capacity and they cannot handle so many students. That's why they really don't care who you are, <laughs> right? Because they have only like a 5%, 4% acceptance rate. So that's why when they have read your essay or essays, the only thing they are trying to decide is, is this student good enough for me to admit? So that's why uh, they are trying to find out whether you are outstanding enough for them to admit, while you are trying to show them who you are. Do you see you miss each other in the parallel universes? Okay, so this is something you need to understand. In order to show you are outstanding, you have to show evidence. You cannot just claim, I'm good, I'm good. That's not going to help. Now, talking about uh, evidence, uh, we can cover both aspects in the academic side and the non-academic side. Now, from the academic side, we have this special term called academic preparation. And I had another talk earlier, and it covers like eight aspects. Uh, so, for instance, if you're interested in, let's say, computer science, okay, it doesn't have to be computer science, it can be any other area. So, let's say computer science. Uh, if you're interested in it, okay, so naturally you would have taken uh, AP, uh, you, ha you have taken like a computer science courses in school, if any, right? And then, if you take AP tests, you will have APCS uh, test or tests. And then you must get five, uh, obviously, you cannot get three. Uh, anything below five, right? To show I'm outstanding in it. And then, uh, you, if you ha are interested in something, you would join a club, a computer science club in this case. Uh, and then, uh, if you are still interested, you would take a, a more advanced co courses in CS. Uh, we naturally would go college courses. And then, you probably would uh, join summer programs, especially those are very competitive summer programs to show uh, not only you're interested in computer science, but also you're really good at it. Now, otherwise, how, how did you get in, right? A competitive summer program. And then you would compete in uh, in national competition, in this case, and a, a computer science Olympia, uh, USACO. Uh, also, you would probably do internships in CS or research in CS. Uh, so all of these things can demonstrate you are not only interested, but also you are good at uh, this particular academic area. Okay, so let's take a look at this, uh, uh, you know, essay based on this topic. Uh, please explain why you wish to study in the academic areas you selected above, all right? And you have 150 words, uh, please, right within the word limit, always, okay? So this is one student's answer. Mathematics and computer science were the two academic areas that I selected above. Okay, you have two areas. That's reasonable. I wish to study math for a myriad of reasons. For me, math brings joy and excitement. When conquering and persevering through difficult questions, it can bring this feeling of a game that doing math questions is simulating a video game. Additionally, math is an interesting topic to learn where it ranges from Algebra 1 to Calculus in most high school courses. The intensity of math dramatically increases, which uh, increases, which makes learning more fun and engaging. Likewise, for computer science, it fascinates me to create different codes that are codes for different things. Uh, I love coding games as well as robots and AIs to allow humans to enjoy life. Along with helping the elderly and disabled in computer science, you can have fun coding while still learning difficult and complex concepts, which still apply to the principles of math. Okay, let's just ignore quite a few grammar mistakes uh, you know, shown in this essay. But most importantly, let's take a look at the content of this essay. Is this student 
uh, really good at math? Has the sh student shown evidence uh, he or she ha is strong in mathematics or computer science? Nope, nowhere, right? So that's why it's really hard to make a case that you are a very good candidate for the admission offices from those top colleges to admit you. So that's why, yep, this is not good. Take a look at another example. I wish to study medicine because I love helping people and I think that I'm, medicine is the most direct way to help people. You know what? Pretty much after reading the first sentence, I'm going to, if I were the real admission officer, yeah, I was one for my own university before. But if I were an admission officer now, I probably would, uh, you know, kill this case immediately because this student is under hallucination that he or she is going to study medicine in the next four years. No, there is no such a thing called learning medicine in undergraduate degree, right? So sorry, you know, you're out. And I say, what is a good essay then? Let's take a look uh, at this essay. My interest in computer science started with an elective. My teacher seeing potential in my complicated programs and the curiosity to learn more recommended that I take AP Computer Science A, on which I later received a phi. The summer after ninth grade, I learned data science programming and research skills at the Summer STEM Institute, an international program, and conducted research at Columbia University using MATLAB to study optogenetics in my springs. The summer after 10th grade, I did data science research at Columbia University, studying data from an Alzheimer's uh, clinical trial, and Boston University, studying biological molecules with mid uh, infrared uh, photothermal MIP uh, microscopy. My two papers on image processing and applications of MIP as a result of those internships were presented to international conferences. Furthermore, I was in the gold division for the USACO. That one course set a spark, leading me to my interest in studying CS. So as you can see in this essay, the student has demonstrated abundant amount of evidence to show to the admission officer, uh, officers that I'm really good at uh, computer science, right? Through uh, papers and also through the competition result, uh, you know, so this is just hardcore evidence that you cannot ignore. All right, so another one. Uh, this topic is a little bit different, but it's from uh, it's from MIT. It's a still a why us question. Uh, why? All right. So it says, my fascination with STEM has yielded both my gold medal, national top forty. That's hardcore evidence. I'm really good. From the 2019 USA Physics Olympia and to first author the papers in machine learning and quantum computing, which have been accepted by a top journal and an IEEE conference. I'm attracted by the opportunities to work with the MIT Center of Quantum Engineering, especially with Professor Peter Shore, to study unresolved quantum information theory problems, which he has mentioned in his papers. Access to rare equipment such as that in the Lincoln Laboratory will enhance my ability to develop new ways to manipulate uh, qubits to accelerate computation. So this essay has contained rich uh, information about the student's credential, uh, which is very strong, and also the student's wish uh, to study in what area and with whom, uh, in what kind of condition, and so this is that's why within 100 words to reveal why MIT is very challenging, but the student put it off uh, very successfully. He got in. Okay. So and then when I was talking to parents, sometimes they would just have a reasonable question. They say, "Take a look. Uh, these like uh, uh, basic pieces of information are already carried in the uh, activities list or the." Uh, ac achievement uh, academic uh, awards list already. Why do you need to repeat over here? Uh, actually, the students in this essay and in the last essay, they did not just repeat uh, whatever is carried in the list or lists. Rather, they are trying to contextualize these activities or awards. Why did they, uh, you know, how did they achieve? 
what what they did to achieve these things, and what do these activities mean to them for claiming this major? So that so that's why it's very important that you、uh, use such raw material to your advantage to make a strong case for you that. I am really good at it, and I wish to continue to study at your university. And why I want to study at your university? Okay, so that's、uh, how you make a, ca a case. Let's take a look at another essay. Now, in the last two essays, I gave you two examples regarding academic preparation, but、um, Uh, actually, this one is the same. Yeah, actually, this one is the same. It's still about academic. Let's take a look. Okay, this、uh, question is from Princeton. The two academic areas that most interest me are physics and environmental science. Driven by my curiosity for physics, I took AP Physics one in sophomore year. However,、uh, mechanics, AP Physics two, and electricity and magnetism were not offered due to a lack of interested students. So. I approached my teachers for resources to self-study them. To gain a better understanding of the mathematics behind physics, I took a linear algebra and a multivariable calculus at a junior college, and I qualified for the AME exam in tenth grade. In the summer of 2021, I attended the prestigious summer science program, where I operated telescopes such as the RRRT at the、uh, Fan Mountain Observatory. To observe asteroids, at the end of the program, I wrote a research paper to predict, analyze, and model their orbits. I was eventually accepted to present my abstract at the AG's U 2021 fall meeting, selected as one of the only 113 student research teams worldwide. All right, so this essay has demonstrated very strong evidence that this student is.、Uh, Very strong in physics,、uh, especially you can see、uh, summer science program SSP,、uh, which used to have like a five percent acceptance rate, and now it's around like a ten percent because of the expansion of enrollment. So that's why、uh, you'd have to show very strong evidence to make a case.、Uh, as I said, all application essays must be evidence based, not just like、uh, economic. Related essays, okay. So essays about your leadership, community service, and other extracurricular activities must all be supported with evidence.、Uh, if you don't have ev evidence, I, I promise you,、uh, your essays will be filled with words like "I believe," "I hope," "Yeah," "In my opinion,"、uh, "I think."、Uh, those words.、Uh, the problem is that admissions are a very objective process.、Uh, admissions are based on facts about you. Not on your opinions or your promises. So you need to understand that it's a it's a very important a concept for you to remember. Okay, so let's take a look at、uh, this as a topic. How did you spend your last two summers?、Uh, multiple colleges have this question.、Uh, this one, fifty words, is from Stanford.、Uh, this to answer this question, you can talk about、uh, you can mix the academic and non-academic activities, of course. So take a look at this one. My family and I went on a vacation to Hawaii on our last summer break, and we stayed home because of COVID the other summer. The year when we went to Hawaii is fun、uh, compared to the other years. We slept at a good hotel and enjoyed the weather. For the past two summers, I visited Model Beach and Chicago. Model Beach, located on the east of South Carolina, is my favorite vacation. It is a top-rated beach with abundant amounts of seafood. My most recent summer vacation was Chicago. We saw the Willis Tower and the Navy Pier. Oh, yeah. So because you visit these uh, tourist uh, destinations, then Stanford is gonna admit you. Really? Right? You could go because your parents could pay, not because you are outstanding. Get it? So that's why writing this way is a total waste, and you will become the first target. To be eliminated by、uh, by Stanford, so that's why、uh, writing this way won't help in any sense. And they say, what is a good essay then? Okay, let's take a look at this one. Two thousand eighteen. Do you have to write the whole sentence or sentences? No, you don't.、Uh, we, especially when you have a very few words, you can just write fragments if you wish to. So here we go. This that's exactly what this student did. 
啊、uh, ，innovated copy lifting machine， 啊哈 ，it's an innovation。Designed natural disaster prevention system at a shed， 啊、uh, ，it's、uh, arguably the top、uh, summer program in Canada。Uh, led overnight hiking 22 km and rafting trips 65 km in Rockies. Okay, 2019 innovated smart multi dog feeder learned from、uh, Michael Grimm's U Uber IPO at MNTSI. Designed AI license plate recognition system、uh, both summers. Organized AI for Youth Canada national conferences.、Uh, more than 700 youth, young people. Uh, youth. So this essay has provided very rich information、uh, regarding、uh, this to students' profile, how strong the student is. Uh huh. Especially the student mentioned MNTSI.、Uh, this is one of the top、uh, summer programs、uh, provided by UPenn. So if you can get into it,、uh, you you got to be very strong. Plus, this student has demonstrated super strong leadership on the national level. Uh. In, in both summers,、uh, AI for Youth. So that's why、uh, the student actually got accepted by Stanford. All right, let's take a look at this example. What brings you joy?、Uh, usually, when you see、uh, again, multiple colleges have this question. So if you、uh, answer this question, normally you don't want to go with like、uh, you know academics because chances are there is another、uh, as a topic that. Asks you to talk about, hey, what are you interested in? Hey, what do you want to study? You no, know? so that's why if you talk about academics, it's going to be redundant usually. But you never know; things can be different for for different students. But let's take a look at this essay. Reading has always been my passion. It helps me cope with my everyday stresses and the challenges. Reading will always be an essential part of my life, no matter how challenging life might get. Even though I might not always be able to have the time for reading, I know that it will be there if I ever need it. My love for reading is endless. It's what introduced me to the world of writing. Reading helped inspire me to put the stories I've created in my head onto paper, so others can enjoy reading as much as I do. Currently, I'm managed. I've managed to publish one novel and almost finished my second one. I also have plans for some new books. And maybe I might even start a series with my previous work. I want to share my joy of reading with the world, as my favorite authors shared with me, with one story at a time. I want to put my work into the world and someday inspire others like those before me. Now, this writing is focusing on reading. The problem is, you read, other students read. Pretty much everyone reads. So why are you outstanding? Because you read, right? Plus, the student is trying to ask the admission officers to,、uh, you know, please.、Uh, I promise you, I'm going to publish the books. So sorry, you know, admissions is not based on your promises, as I told you before. That's why、uh, making such、uh, promise or promises won't help you.、Uh, take a look at another example here. Something that brings me joy is、uh, getting praises from everyone. I'm very competitive and self-conscious. I want everyone to see me as this bright person because those compliments I receive give me a huge boost and urge me to work hard and persevere. All right. So you can read the rest if you wish to、uh, by yourself.、Uh, if I were a real admission officer right now, I probably would just kill this application immediately、uh, because these first two sentences. Uh, three sentences. Yeah, have already demonstrated that the student、uh, lacks severely lacks self secu-、uh, sense of security. So that's why、uh, probably this is not the one to go. All right, and they say, what is good essay? Let's take a look at this example. Creating economics videos brings me joy. I've always admired the level of detail and. Animation that goes into videos. In ninth grade, I decided to bring, I、uh, begin making my own videos. When I started, I excitedly played around with the beautiful, a、uh, bountiful video editing tools on Filmora. I applied my creativity and my economics knowledge to my script writing. I created my own character, Oppo、uh, the monkey, who.
who takes my audience on a journey to learn fundamental economics topics ranging from opportunity cost to scarce, scarcity and a choice through my video series. I adjusted the pitch of my audio recording to match that of an animated monkey. For the visual elements, I spent five to six hours drawing images and choosing Canva elements to use in my videos. Every time I have completed the video, I proudly post it on my Woodland Economics YouTube and WeChat channels. I'm so happy to see that to date, my videos have gotten 22K plus YouTube views and 115K plus WeChat views. And they have been implemented into the Enterprise Village and the Finance Park, career programs for elementary school students, curriculums. I produce new content every two weeks, and I always look toward, I look, look forward to creating the next video. So this student has mixed the fun of creating videos and the you know, academic content. So this is sort of like a, a community service. Yeah, is that good? Excellent. So this is a very good mixture of uh, multiple elements that admission officers are interested in uh, reading. And this student, is going to join MIT to study economics in the fall of 2022. All right, so as I said, all application assets must be evidence-based. Uh, for a topic like this, actually this is a topic from MIT, uh, it says, tell us about the most significant challenge you faced or something important that didn't go according to plan. How did you manage the situation? 250 words. So as you can see, you can talk, you can talk about academics if you wish to. Uh, let's take a look. During my freshman year, when I had joined the swim team, the swim team had a list of requirements that had to be fulfilled or the team would uh, kick members out. The swim team required at least two hours every day, as well as weight training classes. For the first few months, I was very stressed as to how to handle both the swims as well as homework and other work that I needed to complete, such as my volunteering, and realized that I needed uh, to change how I was using my time. In order to do this, I had created a schedule that included time allotment, uh, allotments for each activity. I had found after using this schedule with time, uh, uh, every, uh, uh, okay, um, okay, I probably have skipped the line. I have found after using this schedule with time allotments that the more specific I was, uh, the better, as well as how using this for everyday activities and not just during the school and a swim season would help me to finish what I need to complete, as well as to help me accomplish my goals. I had also found that it was better to allot more time than needed than less, as well as to try and leave extra time for in a uh, case of emergencies that cause time changes. I've learned to use this scheduling pattern with time allotments to everything that I needed to complete every day, except for planned days to rest and relax or family planned days in order to maximize my efficiency and lower my stress while completing everything I wish to complete. Okay, so the essay is done. Well, is this student Outstanding for if I were an MIT admission officer, hardly, right? There is no evidence to show the student is outstanding. Oh, you have learned how to manage time now. Cool. So what have you accomplished because of that skill you have learned? Nothing? Yeah, there is nothing the student has said at least. Okay, so that's why this essay has demonstrated no evidence that the student is outstanding. Take a look at another example here. Uh, for the same topic. In my freshman year, I ran for class president. For three weeks straight, I campaigned endlessly. I managed an Instagram campaign account, plastered posters to every available surface, and canvassed and handle, handed out paints every lunch period. Despite my efforts, when the polls closed, a popular football star won the vote. I was devastated. At that moment, I felt like all my hard work had amounted to nothing. Nevertheless, 
I refused to let this defeat temper my spirit. My determination only grew. I evaluated the mistakes I had made in the previous election: getting the pins out too late, not making enough of bracelets, and lacking diversity in my voter uh, demographic. I also studied ways to win class elections and in interviewed the officers in the grades above me on their strategy on their strategies. Trying also to find out what the student body wanted from a class president beyond the false promises to hear your voice, I asked a variety of students a single question: If there was one thing you could add or change about our school, what would it be? With a better understanding of what voters wanted, I created an effective speech and a basic plan for the next school year. By the time elections came around, I was prepared. Using the calendar I created to organize my plan, I got all my posters and pins out on timely and on on time, and broadened my scope of voters. My efforts came to fruition as I won the election by 115 votes. So、uh, this essay demonstrates how the student has overcome a very significant challenge and. Become triumphant eventually in a voting election、uh, in in a voting situation. So yeah,、uh, this essay you know all the essays must be written in such a way、uh, evidence based. All right, let me just wrap up.、Uh, how to write evidence based essays?、Uh, this is a question we have to wrap to. Okay,、uh, number one, you must know what to accomplish in high school years.、Uh, to accomplish something big requires Planning, so that's why it is important.、Uh, you know,、uh, starting from ninth grade,、uh, what to do and when to do and how to do in the years to come. Number two, you must document the evidence of your achievements in all your academic and non-academic efforts, so that you have something meaningful to write about when you apply to colleges. Okay, so collecting evidence, yeah, the very first、uh, immediate thing is. You know, you you create a resume to document everything in there, but that's not enough. Sometimes, if you have like a you know,、uh, execute execute your leadership,、um, you have not、uh, collected evidence in a timely manner. Then the whole thing is over, and you come back, go back to collect evidence. Then it's probably not possible anymore. Okay. Number three, evidence takes time to accumulate. Therefore, starting、uh, start planning early, as early as ninth grade. 